Lakeshore, and welcome to A Week in Review, where we take a look at some stories you might have missed this week. Manitowoc Mayor Justin Nichols is holding Governor Tony Evers' feet to the fire, so to speak, as he wrote a letter to the governor, as well as Representative Paul Tittle and Senator Devin Lemmyhew, in regard to Washington Street. In part, the letter stated, This is a major arterial road in our city. It is the entry to our community for anyone visiting. It needs to get on the schedule for reconstruction and needs to get reconstructed soon. We cannot wait 10 plus years to reconstruct this road. The former Paragon Partners property in Two Rivers is back on the market. The City Council have been holding conversations with AIM Manitowoc LLC to purchase the property, but those talks have fallen through. So now the city is once again actively pursuing marketing for the property located at 606 Parkway Boulevard. After five years of hard work, a pet boutique in Two Rivers is scheduled to open their doors next week at their new location. The Lucky Paws Pet Boutique had been renting a facility for the past several years, but recently purchased the building at 3310 45th Street and renovated the space to fit their needs. A ribbon covering ceremony is scheduled for next Sunday, that's August 8th, at their new building at 10 a.m. Prevent Suicide Manitowoc has opened up registration for their 10th annual Run and Walk for Hope. This event is scheduled for September 25th and will take place at UW-Green Bay Manitowoc campus instead of at Neshota Beach, where it had taken place in years past. The opening ceremony, emceed by myself, will begin at 8 o'clock and the run and walk will start at 9. You can register by going to PreventSuicideManitowoc.com. And in your sports, the Ron Colley softball team had six players honored by the EWC this week. Matty Hobblewitz was selected EWC Player of the Year, First Team All-District and Second Team All-State. Abby Stelter earned First Team All-EWC Honor. Matty Rasak was named to the Second Team, while Gina Garceau, Ellie Jagaman, and Mackenzie Stoddinger all received honorable mentions. And two local American Legion baseball players will be competing next month in the All-Star Game at the home of the Milwaukee Brewers. Adam Dietrich of Manitowoc Post 88, along with Reese Piontek of Denmark, have been named to the All-Star Stripes team, which will meet the Stars team on Sunday, August 8th at American Family Field. You can always find more local news online anytime at chafernews.com. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend, and we will see you next week.